Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alyssa and I start nursing school in two weeks and I am nervous and excited. Um, today's video is going to be what's in my clinical bag. I do not have clinical this semester. I will have it in spring semester, but being very type A, I already have my bag set up. So um, this video was requested a couple of times, so I'm going to show you guys what is in my clinical bag um if you watched my last video no no if you watched my uh, nursing school haul you saw a different bag um than this one and i am extremely upset because i was so pumped for that bag and it did not end up working out i will show you guys that in a second um so i ended up having to transfer everything into my work bag um this is from Target. I think that you can still get it. Um, I will try and leave it in the description box below. Um, you can't get it in this color, I don't believe, but I think that the last time I went to Target, um, there was like black, blue, and like a pink color. Um, but same thing, just different colors. Um, but yeah, let's just hop on in. I will show you guys at the end of the video the other clinical bag and why it didn't work out, but I just want to quickly go through this one. So the first thing that's on here is my badge. This is just the same badge that I had on my backpack. I transferred from my backpack to my clinical bag. This is also like my lab bag. Um, so I will be using it this semester. That's why I have everything like kind of in here and ready to go just because eventually for lab, I'm not gonna wanna carry my whole backpack and I can have like my stethoscope and my stuff in here. So lab bag slash clinical bag. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I need to get I need to have this to get into my school and also clinical so this stays with me and I also attached right here a highlighter and um, a sharpie these were both in my school supply haul um, and as well as oh, this um, badge rail so all of these were in my nursing school haul but I have to have this with me all times Otherwise, I can't get into my school or clinical. <laughs> Moving on to like this little front zipper right here. I can get it open. So the first thing that I have in here, these were also in my nursing school haul. Um, these are the Badge Guru set. These are the Tribe RN cards. Um, I haven't actually put any on my badge yet just because I, I'm not sure which ones I want to put on. Um, but basically this goes through like pharmacy, respiratory, English to Spanish stuff. Um, it's basically just like these cards that you can put on your badge and they're little reference sheets. Um, like this one is conversions for, um, dosage, dosage calculations. Um, there's like the pain assessment scale, some things with EKGs. It has a bunch of things and they basically go through like... I don't want to say like the rotations of clinical but kind of they have like the um immunization schedule lines and tubes for children um so basically it has everything that you would need as a cheat sheet or like a reference sheet for clinical so i like to keep these in my bag i don't want to take them out because one day i might need a different one and it's just nice to keep them all in one place just in case i ever need for some reason like an infant one while I'm not in that rotation so I always keep these with me these are gonna be with me in that front pocket just so I have easy access to them and then the second thing is also a reference sheet these are my scrub sheets um, this is basically like the same thing just like a, a larger form um, this goes through cardiac pharmacology respiratory OB peds neural labs and fundamentals and it's basically like I said the same thing a bunch of different reference sheets these are just bigger and you can also put these in your scrub so um, in case I don't have something that I need for OB or peds on the little cards then I can always take these out of my scrubs and just look at them so yeah those stay in that front pocket right there just so I can have easy access to them moving on to the big pocket so the first thing that I have is this bag I got this from Walmart I believe it was like a couple of dollars this is kind of like my emergency pouch so in here I have a tied to go stick just in case I get anything on my scrubs um, a nail file because like in my last video I 
break my nails constantly and it's really really annoying so i always keep like a cheap little nail file with me this is like the revlon one i have some um contact solution in case i ever need to take out my contacts or i can drip some into my eye if that makes any sense i don't know if anyone else does that but if my contacts dry out on me i can like use a few drops of this and just put it in my eye and be okay um I also have some ponytails. These are just the teleties. This is mint green. And then this is like those white ones. I forget what it's called, but I just have a couple of these just in case I forget a hair tie. Then I have a couple of makeup wipes because sometimes I just don't want to wear makeup anymore. So I like to have that with me just in case I don't want to wear makeup during clinical or if it's some reason gets messed up or I don't know. I just sometimes I feel uncomfortable with makeup after a really long time. So just in case I ever want to take it off. Then I have some Aquaphor. This is the lip repair. Um, I always have a chapstick with me because hospitals are extremely dry and sometimes my school is. So this is always just nice to keep with me. Um, always need a chapstick and I would die without one. So keep this with me just in case. I keep some Advil in here with me. Um, sometimes I get really bad headaches throughout the day and my lab is from 8 to 2.30 I believe and that is a very long day. I will probably get a headache so I keep that with me just in case I ever get a headache. And then the last thing in here is just some bobby pins because my hair is short so whenever I want to put my hair like on top of my head I need a ton of bobby pins so these just stay with me. So that is everything that's in this little pouch right here. Next I have this little pouch. This is from Target and it has a little bit more of like essentials I guess. Um, this is just stuff that kind of go along with that one. Um, in here I have the Fenty Beauty, Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder. Um, like I said in my last video I get oily throughout the day so having this with me just gives me a peace of mind. <laughs> Um, that I'm not going to look like an oil slick during clinical or during lab. So then I have some dry shampoo just in case. Um, I also have a mini deodorant in case I forget or need to reapply throughout the day. I have some hand sanitizer because you can never have enough. Um, I have a stress relief. Um, this is the little hand cream. Um, this is from Bath and Body Works. I am obsessed with this stuff. I think I have like the candle, five of these, um, a bunch of them in the hand sanitizer, obsessed with stress relief. So I keep this with me. Then I have um, this little perfume. This is the Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. This is just like a little sample that I found. Um, I actually love this so much. That's why it's going to stay with me just in case I need like a little touch up or like a little refresh or I feel like I smell a little bit so just in case then I have a bunch of things in here as well for um just like fresh breath um these are the Listerine ready tabs you just like chew them you swish it around and then you can swallow it I found these at Kroger and I have not used them yet but I feel like they're a pretty good thing to have so then I have my favorite gum this is the extra gum um, and then I have the Breath Saver um, Spearmint Mints. I am terrified to have bad breath in front of important people. And obviously you want to make a good impression with your lab instructors and your clinical instructors. So I always keep this with me just in case. You never know. Coffee breath. Anything. So, so those were all of my like essentials or just like emergency kits just in case I forget something or I need something they are both in here I was gonna get like a bigger bag but oh well I don't really feel like putting like a giant pencil pouch in my bag so I just haven't broken up into two the next thing that I have is this little pencil case and this has all of my pencils and stuff in it so in here I just have a couple of the Bic round sticks um, I love these pens. These are just ballpoint pens. They are extremely cheap. They're like 90 something cents at Target um, and you can probably find them on sale. Um, I love these things so much. I have blue and black. Um, these are like great for when I was a medical assistant um, for writing on like carbon copy paper um, just so that you can like I don't know how you want to describe it like these ones I feel like I can press a little harder than the gel ones because the gel ones don't really write as well on carbon copy paper 
but um, I like to have these as spares just in case someone else needs a pen and I love these pens and I don't want to really give them away so these ones are my like giveaway pens just in case anyone needs one so always have these with me then I have some other ballpoint pens these are the profile ones I also love these these are so great um, these are just a little bit more expensive so I only keep a couple with me and I really am the only ones that use these so then I have a couple of pens that are um, like gel pens. These are the Big Gelasty ones and then the Sharpie S gels. I love these, but like I said, sometimes it's just easier to write with a um, ballpoint pen. So I don't really use these a lot um, when I'm not taking notes. So um, I just like to have two just in case I ever need one or if I want to write with a different pen. I have a couple of pencils just because you never know. Um, I don't really know if we'll be using pencils in clinical. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. You might want to use it to write with in, um, like on, what are those, like care, care plans or um, just like other things. So, I don't know. Just in case. I also have an extra Sharpie for my badge reel just in case that one runs out. I do need to put another highlighter in here. Um, I forgot, but this is just in case I ever run into the problem where my Sharpie is dying, so... Then I have a, um, like a multi-colored pen. <laughs> um, I think this has eight colors on it. I got this from Target. This is Yobi. Um, it has a bunch of colors on here. Um, but I figured this would be nice if I need to write in, like, multiple different colors for, like, care plans or something like that. Um, I like to write in multiple different colors. I don't know if you're allowed to. I haven't reached that point in nursing school yet, so I just picked this up. It was, like, three bucks, so... Then I have my um, extra hemostats in here just in case. I didn't really know what to do with them, so I put them in here. Next, I have my clipboard. Um, this is from the White Coat brand. I love this thing so much. I've heard so many people recommend, recommend this, and I had to buy one. It is in mint green because that is my current favorite color. Um, but it has just like a bunch of reference sheets on the the back of it um it seems really really sturdy and i love that it has like this little gap right here i guess you can say because it's not going to completely fold my papers in half it'll just kind of like bend them a little bit and that i love that you can just close it and like put it in your scrub pocket and you don't need to worry about leaving this out and having um patient information um obviously you can't do that so i like that i can just fold this everything's like covered and I can just put it in my scrub pocket and I don't have to worry about leaving it around. I also have a little notebook. This is just um, from Target. It has like a little pocket right there and a bunch of paper. Um, I just keep this with me just in case I want to write down anything important and I don't want to carry like this giant notebook. I have like a five subject notebook so I don't really want to carry that with me. Um, so I just have a little one just in case I need to like jot things down and yeah I just carry this with me. I also have my BP cuff. This is just from Amazon. This is the Paramed one. It's just black. I showed this to you guys in my nursing school haul. It just kind of looks like that. Um, I carry this with me just in case I ever want to go to skills lab and practice. Um, it's also just like nice to have. Um, I don't know if our skills lab is going to be like open for open lab. I have no idea what's going on with my school at this point. So... Um, but I figured this would just be, just be nice to have and to carry and practice. <laughs> then I have my stethoscope case. This is from Amazon. I love this so much. It's so pretty. Um, I just got the black version. Um, I think there's blue, pink, and like maybe gray. But I knew that going through like clinical in the hospital and like throwing things into my bag, it was going to get a little bit dirty. So I wanted the black one. So if we open this up, I have a bunch of things in here. This is kind of like where I am going to like grab all of my stuff. Um, in here, I have my pen lights. I have a um, silver one and a rose gold one. I have my trauma shears in here. And I also have my uh, hemostat. And then down at the bottom, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get this out. Down at the bottom, I have my pulse ox. Um, I 
just keep this with me um this was actually like my work setup so um i just kind of like threw everything that i had in my work bag well everything that i had in that clinical bag into my work bag um because i switched bags so this just came with me um i'm sure that we won't need to bring it to the hospital but i like to have it so and then the last thing in this one is just my stethoscope this is the Lipman classic three this is the all black one I love this thing so much and I also have a little clip right there oh my god it broke oh my god no it just broke I am so sad oh my god it literally just like fell off like how did that happen okay well I don't have that anymore um well this is my stethoscope without the little thing on there because it just broke um, but other than that, I really love my stethoscope. Um, like I said, this is the Lipman Classic 3 in the all black version. Um, I've used it when I was an MA and I love it so much. I'm going to have to get a new clip because I, I really want a clip on here, um, with my name on it and I really want that one. So that's unfortunate, but this is my stethoscope. <laughs> Then moving on to like this little section right here, I just have a folder just in case I ever have like clinical paperwork that is going to, that I don't want to get like all messy and stuff like that and just don't want to like throw papers into my bag. So I have a little folder. This is just from Target. It has the two pockets. So I have a bunch of room to store papers. And then moving on to like the back has a zipper right here. So in that zipper, I just have a second pair of trauma shears um, or bandage scissors, whatever you call them. Um, I just have my second pair in here because I didn't want to just like keep this wherever. Um, so I just have these in here just in case I need an extra. And then I have some little tiny notebooks just in case um, I don't feel like carrying around the other notebook um these are just little tiny ones that i got from target as well but yeah that is everything that is in my clinical bag i really love this bag by the way um it's like really nice and it's like that slippery material i don't know what it's called um but it's really easy to wash i've washed it a bunch of times um or like wiped it down a bunch of times because i worked at an urgent care and there are lots of sick people at the urgent care so I love this bag so much. It works great. It's super sturdy. Um, it's also like a very gorgeous color and they come in a bunch of other different gorgeous colors. So yeah, I just love this thing so much. So this is the original bag that I had bought um, for clinical slash lab. And I was super pumped about it. And I, 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 don't, I don't know, man. I am just not feeling it. So if you look inside it looks fantastic and it has so many pockets but this doesn't open like i love when my bags open all the way this does not open at all really like i i wish i could show you guys like it it, it seems like it's opening a lot but it's really not like i can put let me let me put some things in here just to give you guys like a reference so i only have my um blood pressure cuff in my stethoscope case in here and this already filled to the top like obviously i can fit like one more bag right there but i thought that this was so much deeper and i thought this like opened more so that like you can like fit more things to the sides i don't know i was super under underwhelmed with it and i just i need a bigger bag and i thought that this was going to have like a bunch of pockets so it was going to be fantastic and great but i don't like it so I will be returning it but anyways um if you like this type of bag that is totally totally up to you it might be great for you i just have a bunch of stuff so it was not great for me so right now i just have it in my target bag um eventually i want to get like a different bag because this is technically my work bag um so if you guys have any suggestions leave them down in the comments below um yeah i was super super sad that this didn't work out it might work out for you guys i just have too much stuff so um if you still like it or you like all the pockets great i'm so happy for you it just didn't work out for me um 
but yeah that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching what was in my clinical bag slash lab bag for the semester if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave comments down below of your recommendations because i need them um i really need a, a lab slash clinical bag instead of my work bag um but yeah i will see you guys all next week with some more nursing related videos and yeah i hope you guys have a great week bye